So hey guys, we're, uh, we made it to West Virginia last night. We're at Twin Hollows uh, Campground and uh, it's, it's freaking beautiful here. Everybody is super, super, super friendly. It's a family run business, been in the family for about five generations. This place is stunning. It's rated uh, one of the top ATV resorts. It's right off Rock Hill Trail System on Hatfield and McCoy. If you guys haven't been here, you gotta add it to your bucket list. This place is amazing. Uh, so far, it's been blowing us away. So stay tuned for the ride, and you guys are definitely going to enjoy this. It's going to be a it's going to be a taste of something a lot of you haven't seen yet. Um, and I, realistically, we haven't been here yet either. So all we've done is gone to town and do a few little trails around camp. This will be our first real trail ride today. So this is the start of the trail out of Twin Hollows. Um, this will lead us to the rest of the trail system and into town. Twin Hollow Campground and Cabins is located off Route 52 in the town of Gilbert, West Virginia. They offer mountaintop cabins and camping and they also have RV hookups. But most importantly, they've got direct trail access to the Hatfield and McCoy trail system. This bridge here is really neat, or this tunnel. One thing you'll notice throughout these videos is there's some pretty sharp turns on some of these mountains. There's a lot of switchbacks, and you always have to remember that there's two-way traffic coming. You gotta be careful, man. Yeah, I know. You gotta keep, I gotta keep reminding myself that. Feel free to remind me. Side-by-sides, ATVs, and dirt bikes are all street legal in these small towns in West Virginia. A lot of the local communities have seen better days, and any influx of money that can come in, whether it be through tourism, off-roading, or other types of tourism, is welcomed here. Trail permits are required to ride the Hatfield and McCoy trail system. They're quite cheap, and they can be purchased at multiple locations. Besides that, the rules are pretty lax around here, as long as you stay respectful. We had to do a bit of road riding to get to one of the trail systems, so we all stopped and pulled over here to regroup before we headed on our way as the trailhead was just up the road here.
after that yeah. flex set. Yeah. stop for the first fix of the day here it's just a quick one reattach a cooler one of the mounting brackets or something messed up there when the machine caught some air those short humps like those little bumps like big speed bumps in the trail you really got to watch out for those because if you hit them too quick you can skate up on your front wheels and then only your front wheels are touching it it's real important to not do any aggressive maneuvers when you're like that. If you turn your wheels too much when you're up on the fronts there, you can flip the machine right over. As a general rule of thumb, you never really want to jump anything shorter than the wheelbase of these machines.
Ta. So we pulled over for a quick little stop here and to regroup and let the rest of the group catch up with us. This seemed like a good place to stop. There was already a few locals having a few beverages here and relaxing, so we just hung out and shot the shit for a little while. Selfie stick! <laughs> Selfie! We got another guy you'll see. You drive that thing pretty good. I'm white, man. I'm so much nicer driving this than your own, eh? Oh, I know. <laughs> Yeah, with us driving, right? It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's so hard leading though, like. It's hard because you have to pay attention. You don't watch yeah. the guy in front of you. You can't see well, where the jumps are. You our can't... system there. We yeah. have all the trails. So oh, I got it zoomed it. in nice. far enough so I can You can see, see the like, corners and stuff? I can... If it's zoomed out, then you kind of have to look for a couple seconds yeah. and then look back. I get it zoomed in where I just have to glance and at you it. See and you see exactly know, what's like, coming up. It's kind of nice. sitting on a rock. That's why it's... Oh. I don't want to get a flat. The back one seemed a little These soft, nice. Hey, you yeah, got to... only got about seven pounds in them. You got a... Oh, can I pull in here? Can I come here? Yeah. No. No out of for you. Air cost lots. Fuck 50. <laughs> you didn't do your maintenance, Dave? <laughs> what? No, why like, would he do his maintenance if he, we can just do it for him when he gets to the trail? <laughs> You'll hear us making fun of our buddy Doc Dave here for not doing his maintenance. He showed up to the ride and he wasn't ready to roll, so we had to bust his chops all weekend about it. Those that don't know, the 400 is a series of highways in southern Ontario. They're good for one thing, generating traffic, and they only have two seasons, construction and winter. There's the machines up there waiting to come down. Oh my 
my god, look at that hill. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. shocks are really working here. You can hear those remote reservoirs mounted on the cage behind our heads there squishing away. As you can see, these trails are stunning. The scenery is just to die for. The elevation changes are awesome. The trail keeps changing. There's shady areas, light areas, big bumps and smooth sections. It's awesome. If you like trail riding, then this place needs to be on your list.
the number one issue out on these trails is sharp jagged rocks and the hard base. It eats tires. We must have had 30 flats in four days and the rocks are just razor sharp in some of the areas. They're cutting sidewalls, they're puncturing right through your tread block. Um, it's pretty intense. So um, that being said, James was telling me to go into four wheel drive to maintain my tires and not to put too much stress into the rears through spinning them more than I need to. So in four wheel drive, you split that load and, and it helps maintain tire life. In some of the later episodes, you'll see the tire carnage we ran into and some of the issues we had to solve on the trail. It gets pretty interesting later on. Riding up here in this terrain is definitely one of the most stressful areas to endurance test a tire. If it can survive here, you know it's rock solid. It's like a jungle. Yeah. Awesome. If this is your first time checking out our channel or our videos, then thanks a lot. We appreciate it. We'd love it if you came back and spent some more time watching our content. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on the videos and let us know what you think. It really helps us out with future uploads. Also, if you'd like, follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. There's only people in front of us, I think, not behind us. Oh, is there? Yeah. Where's Greg? Yeah. I want to get five. behind Greg. We got to get behind Greg. Five miles behind. and like Greg's not stopping.
being our first day in West Virginia, or our first real day riding, everybody's taking it a little easy and getting used to the trail conditions and the riding style up here. Everywhere you go is a little bit different, and like we said earlier, the conditions around here aren't very forgiving to mistakes. If you overshoot a corner, you're off a mountain. Um, there's no messing around with that. So the goal here is to have a blast, but to also make it home in one piece. Uh, as the rides progress, there will be carnage. There's going to be uh, quite a few breakdowns and failures and a lot of punctures. So there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff to watch. So some of the later videos will be a little bit more intense. Some of them will be a little slower. Like most of you guys know, every ride's a little different and um, you just kind of take it like it is. Regardless, all the videos will be scenic. They're all going to have quite a bit of cool riding and new trails in them. There won't be any repeat content. So uh, make sure you check out multiple uh, episodes of the videos. There's a lot of content from this uh, trip, so there's going to be quite a few videos. We apologize it's taken so long to get them out, but sometimes things get a little busy and it really takes a long time to produce good quality content for you guys to watch. So thank you for the continual support and enjoy the rest of the video and check out the other ones that'll be coming out soon. This would not be as comfortable my old 900 XP. No, not nearly. <laughs> That's what that, those guys we uh, met were saying. He's got like a basic 900 and he says it's just brutal. Yeah. I heard them saying like the ride is drunk. That's why they said they stay off a rock house there. They said it's yeah. just too rough.
Oh, oh. Okay, okay. We made it, baby. Oh, look over here. It's about to come up here. Oh, I just drove over a sewer grate. Yeah, is that what that was? Yeah. Oh, cop! <laughs> So we made it off the main trail of section there. We uh, found this nice little photo spot up here. So everyone's gonna light up their machines and we're gonna take advantage of the photo opportunity and also gonna stop and have a little bit of lunch. Uh, after lunch, we're gonna head down the road and link up with another trail system. So uh, we're gonna end the first video here. Once again, thanks guys for watching. Let us know what you'd like to see in future videos. Uh, we'd like to get out on some more rides like this West Virginia ride in the future and hopefully explore some other places in the United States. And we'd love to go back to West Virginia. We're all planning a, ri uh, a ride back there this season too. So maybe this time we can link up with some locals and uh, get an even better ride in on some of the outlaw trails. So stay tuned to the future episodes. There's gonna be a lot of cool content and uh, you'll get to see all these machines uh, get put through the paces and we'll see which ones have issues, which ones hold up. and. Uh, Really, we're also going to see uh, which tires are up to the test of this job and which ones struggle. So uh, thanks again. Uh, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Share the videos on social media. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. And we'll see you in the next video.